Hello everyone and welcome back to Geologist's Journey through Techno de Firmacraft. I'm Pivodine as always and it's time to make a railway. Or well, to make another one and like make it the one we already have a bit better. Because well, a railway should not just go up and down hills that much. So old one does and as you can see, there is a lot of blue markers all around. And if we look at the minimap, you can see how they are going. And uh, well, we will connect to the old part, old one a little bit, but we will make it go all the way out here, and then we will do one here. Maybe this episode, maybe next episode. Maybe I will do it off camera, because this part. It was really easy. I've done it in a um, uh, creative world uh, just to see how it would be, and it's so even. Like, well, sure, there is like the mountain area where we need to go over and through a little bit, but then you just have to go up, or you just have to go up on it and down from it, and then this part was super flat. Just a little bit of like building a bank and embankment and stuff, but that was super easy. But the hard part is actually on this island. Yeah, this one is done. Uh, I don't know. Did I? Yeah, we checked the fight. Good. Uh, so, in between episode, as I said, I have been smelting up some or all of the hematite ore. Also, I'm still sick. Uh, but hopefully it's becoming better now. I hope, I hope. But yeah, uh, I managed to make some steel out of it because I I had put in coke, uh, coal, coke dust here and I uh, didn't mean to make steel, it just happened. Um, but well, you get like double amount of uh, rails from steel as you get from iron, so that's good. Also, we're gonna need. Oh, there's even more. Uh, we're also gonna need a bit of steel for some of the equipment that I want to make for it. And I will just. I will use this for everything that's related to railroads because I don't have any more iron to do that stuff with. And to start off with, um, I have also. Well, I have also made some other stuff. I can, uh, some more. Some standard rails, some uh, rail beds, and I found this from before. But I would like to not use booster tracks. I would like to use the locomotives. Also, I dismantled the entire steam setup there. Uh, so if we look at locomotives, we can just look at rail, rail for railcraft, and then we go over here. There are well two types. It's the steam locomotive, where you use like coal and stuff to burn, and uh, it, and you need to have water in it as well. And then there is the electric mo locomotive. I have never used this. I don't really know how it works, but I would love to uh, love to use it. Hmm. Oh, ah, so that's what we need to do. How do we make this? Tin, copper, that's easy enough. So maybe we should look into making this, but for that we also need to have electric rails or electric tracks. Ah, uh, god, right. Um, and those are made like this. Electric track. Oh! Oh, you use stone type. Oh god. Uh, how do we make that? Oh, oh, oh no, it has to be smoothed before. Uh, rebar. Okay. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not, maybe not. Uh, I guess we're just gonna make it that normal and then maybe change it over because Railcraft has this nifty thing that is a 
called track relayer card which replaces one track with another so we can more or less just switch it out for electric later on uh, but we're gonna start with just normal track I suppose uh, and the first step would I guess be to make the beginning of a tunnel and I was planning on make a, using a tunnel boring machine uh, should we no, we will not use pine. What kind of wood should we use? Yeah, I, I will need support because I'm gonna tunnel through the mountain. Um, huh, huh, huh. Should we use hickory? It's dark. We could try. Or should we use maple? The yellow of the woods. No, I think we're gonna use the hickory. I think the dark would fit very well. So let's make a lot of those. Bring this thing out. And let's start digging, I suppose. So I realized I had made the track one for, uh, too far to the side last time because we need to have a support beam somewhere and uh, yeah so um, I also want it to be 3 by 4 so 4 wide so we can have double track in it and then just 3 high because well support beams and I should also have um, started with putting up some support beams before oh well let's just I'm stupid I truly am stupid uh, now we need to find some stone to put in. Well, um, okay, so let's just want to make the first bit off camera, and then I'm gonna. And it's like, yes. There we go. Uh, okay, actually, gonna do this. Jump, 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 come on. And let's put those things back and keep on digging. Uh, one, two, three, four, I suppose. Then I will just make it a bit wider like this. It's pretty easy. I can just do that easily enough and same here probably gonna uh, I'm gonna have four blocks in between later on so every fifth block would be a support beam um, but yeah so the main uh, or one more. and this is the reason why I wanted to move it over because I want it to like be looking nicely out over this area so you can see it um, but now yeah I will keep on digging until I'm beside the machinery house I will just make like two turns here and I will be back there so now I've dug through and we just need to make the last support beam be in the right place so there there no stupid Uh, there, and then we're gonna have here, here, uh, what is going on here? This is so strange. There we go. I have never seen that happen before. Hmm. Actually. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Huh. What actually I want this to be one more over. Or, um, yeah, I would. Huh. Have I miscalculated? Might have. Oh well. 
but at least we're here now. And um, I'm just gonna give away some dirt, some more dirt, and a little bit more. And all oh, right, it's gonna be four wide. Ah, uh, but that's still the. I don't know. Oh. Okay. I did not expect that to happen at all. But yes, so now we're here. And uh, I do actually want to uh, fill this in with like more mountain. So we can have support beams. Just as in that corner, being like this. And that's why I was babbling on so much about that being weird. So on and so forth. And we go there. So something like this. And we're just gonna take away this and it has to be uneven, I suppose. I don't know why. I thought I counted this before. Oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. And okay, I guess I'm also just gonna make one little incision here. Oh. Okay, we have one more stack, but that's surprisingly perfect. And so yeah, uh, we I want to build this up to have at least one layer of stone. A bit more, maybe, but we'll see. And something like that. And then we go one, two, three, one. And we just need to find some dirt to put up there. But that should be good. Uh, come on. Okay, well, we'll get to do the rest from on top. Yeah, that looks kind of good, I think. And then we just have like an air hole here or something. And now I actually do want to make the tunnel boring machine. And the reason why I didn't do it for this section is that the tunnel boring machine has one slight, or well, two slight problems. One, it can't go up or downhill. And two, it can't turn. So, yeah, that makes it good for long straight lines and nothing else. Uh, also, I haven't figured out what blocks work as like uh, making it not fall down or stop when it that it can use to fill in gaps. Because it seems like Terraforma Craft blocks does not work. Which is weirdly annoying. Uh, since all the nice looking blocks are Terraforma Craft blocks. Well, according to me. But yeah, also. <laughs> that rich copper play, uh, or uh, no thing is just crazy. Have I? I don't think I've mined any other copper. Have I? That's like all the copper I have, or the only copper that I've mined is from this source that we found in like episode 2 or something. Oh, come on. And we might have mined one more. I feel like we should have mined one more, but I don't know. We still have six stacks. <laughs> That's incredible. Um, but yeah, so tunnel board more crap. Okay, I will be back when I'm. Uh, well, we can actually we can just look at the tunnel board machine, see what we need. Okay, so we need solid fuel boiler. We get. Ooh, I'm actually gonna make double set because I want to have a four by four or two by two rather for this to actually have as a actual boiler. But uh, and since we get three, we're gonna use two for. Oh wait, no. Ah, right. We need for that. Well, well. I guess that's also somewhere we can put them to use. But yeah, we're gonna do that, and then our machine. We're gonna need minecarts, steel double sheets, and then we're also gonna need. Somewhere where it can put all the crap it mines up. And that will actually be the cargo cart. I love these things. They are so cool. And I feel like they are the best just in general. Uh, don't know if the 
this is like a chest cart that can only take one thing, I think. And you can actually see it like from outside what it has in it. It's it's so amazing. How do we make okay, that's easily enough. Okay. So I will make a couple of those and I will make the tunnel boring machine. Cart is just iron plates. Ooh, you who do you get to ooh, that's good. And yeah, I think that's about it. Should I just make this one too, maybe? Maybe I should. Yeah, I guess so. Oh well, yep. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna make this one too. Yeah, oh wow, that's expensive. Huh. Well, I will be back when all of that is done and we can start getting it for a set it to use. Oh, it's not that bad since we have all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be back. So, I have everything that I said that we would need, uh, and also realized we also do need a bore head, otherwise we can't, well, the drill, uh, tunnel drilling machine, tunnel bore can't drill anything, or bore anything. So yeah, that's also quite important, um, and we also do need some fuel. Let's see how far we get on one stack of cold coke. Actually, um, also, I nope, mined out the uh, middle here and replaced it with uh, gravel, as I do still want to have gravel down there. And now, let's see how it's going to go with this monster here. And let's put it down like there. It is enormous. Uh, oh, there we go. And we need to put in the head. We need to put in some track. Yeah, and ballast. This is the stuff. I don't know what goes in there. Well, I guess that you could put in like rail, cla rail craft blocks. But I don't want to do that. I would like to have gravel or like craft bricks or something but until I f figure out something that I can and want to put in there we're just gonna leave it empty it isn't required as long as you don't have caves and I really hope that we won't have caves also I realized that uh, if you break bricks and like smooth stone blocks with a hammer it works great, it's super quick, but the hammer breaks as quickly, more or less. I used up half a, uh, or, well, maybe a third of a red steel hammer on like 10 blocks. Yeah, be aware of that, is all I'm gonna say. And, right, a crowbar. Haven't we made a crowbar? I feel like we should have made a crowbar. No, oh, wait, I can just... It's also in here since it's also railcraft stuff. Crowbar reinforced. Uh, so this is just that and the reinforced. Let's just make a reinforced one. Is there any difference? Mm, probably not. Maybe got more uses. All right. We should really have that. Hmm. Oh well, let's see, do we have enough limonite? Uh, we have some there. We also do have some rich limonite. Let's see, can we... No, that... Oh right, it's not limonite, it's hematite, which we do have even more of. Uh, so yeah, let's just throw this in here. This is gonna be quite a lot more. It's probably gonna be like... 16. Yeah, quite a bit more. And then we're gonna take one, two, three. Jam, jam, jam. And there we go. Let's just put the color back. Wasn't there like one chest where I started to put color? Ah, here it is. Good. And 
I really need to get more Malachite, so I won't run out of green. But that's for a future time. When we're in marble area, probably. Should be in our stuff too, but well, yeah, haven't found it. So, right click, being created. So now it will put stuff stuff in here. And example of stuff would be can't reach it now. Oh well, we will pick up pick it up behind it. But yeah, it will spit out all the materials, and uh, we will just have to pick it up. And we, to start with, we would probably only need one or maybe two cards. That is not linked. That is. Now we can just let it rip. Hopefully. Maybe. Yeah, and there you see, I got a lot of andesite rocks. You can see, it stacks inside. I just, I just love that so much. That is just so amazing. And the best thing with the tunnel boring machine is, you don't need to have supports, because it won't create collapses. Ah, oh, that's something that it won't collect, I guess. I guess we should just have a, should have made a normal cart in the end. And yeah, th this is more or less the sole reason why I just want to use this. It looks so amazing. Could you just imagine like a big train of like with these and just you can see all the different stuff it has loaded. That is just what I want to do. Um, but also we do need to... Um, What's it called? Uh, connect? No. What's it called? I don't know. Totally lost what I was thinking of. Oh well, you should be used to that by now, but yeah. Uh, so we will... Ah, right. Something to light, it, light the tunnel up. I was thinking of just going with pumpkins. But I think it's time that we just make some uh, it's why can't I not oh, wait I could immersive engineering and then we're not gonna do the powered lanterns and do the normal lanterns I think I have oh wow that's quite expensive actually wasn't there something that needed this oh I do need a lamp or something Ah, okay, it was just those. No, okay, it was electric. Um, but yes, I remember... Hmm... Didn't we mine any scapulite anywhere? Because that would, like, be the perfect thing to put in the tunnel. Ah, we did! Yes! Nice, nice, nice. What was it? Does the power plant use it? No. What did we do? Mine this one. And it goes in here, right? Yep. Ooh, so that that's oh, well, that's quite good. That's quite good. That means that we could pro under stone. Well just be through it. And see all our food just run away. Ah, half-eaten sandwich. Nice. And that machine is super loud. Oh? Wait. What does it take to make a... Oh, we need a bucket of water. Ah. That's somewhat annoying. But it should be totally doable. What else do we need? We need some iron and glass paint. Well, I said I could use it for the railway, so... Joints. And some glass paints. I know we did have a lot. I guess we used it all up. Uh, 
and one more should be stack good now we just need water buckets and let's hope that the tunnel bore machine won't run away too far ah, I can't go that far though no. uh, buckets 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 there we go three buckets and then I know I have two more in here and let's just go down to the water to get the last one build up should just do something like this Ooh, we can also get some food while oh, we're here and then it was okay we can just do that or an extra one actually It's interesting to have to use water for this, but I guess it could kind of make sense, kinda, somehow, maybe, oh, one, two, three, four, five, and, well, I guess I should do this off camera. And I will be back when I've crafted up the stuff, made some sandwiches, and caught up with a tunnel boring machine. We'll see you in a little bit. So, time to see how it has been going. Uh, well, it seems to have done a great job. I guess we're just gonna put down that until we have secured the tunnel with some supports. And yeah, this is... Oh, it's actually done, even. Oh, nice. I guess we can just take that out. And as you can see, this is where you would use the ballast normally. To put it underneath, so it could just continue mine going. But since we didn't want that, it wasn't a problem. Because now we have to, well, connect it to the other railway. And then we have to move down here. And this is a annoying area to have to deal with, actually. Probably have to redo the old bit, uh, old railway down here. I'm just gonna leave this be. Would really like to change this because it slows stuff down, but if we use the locomotives, it's not as, a big, uh, as big of a problem. Is it actually stopped? No, okay, it's, I, think I, I think it saves the stuff, um, but yeah, so that's the tunnel board machine, and well, now it's just the little project of cleaning up after it, aka we also need to mine up everything underneath here, yeah, it's quite a lot of work, but we have a nice tunnel, and we didn't have to dig it ourselves. So that's something, at least. Also, I'm gonna clean this up. Uh, I guess I could just do it now, actually. Uh, I'm gonna have it four wide, I suppose. <coughs> also, these structures just, well, shapes just look weird. So I'm gonna take them away. I uh, got a hole of death. fix that and I do want to gather up as much chisels or smooth stones as possible now since I realized that is needed for the um, num, 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 the electric tracks and uh, I really do want to have electric tracks okay so and my inventory full Let's just use these things, I suppose. Uh, no. God. Stop. Don't do that. Uh, but you can see, these are very, very useful for the tunnel boring machine, as you can put in all different kinds of stuff in here. Will probably be super useful in the future. Because this will be one of the best thing, ways to find diamonds, I would suspect. And with that, I mean 
going down to the Gabro layer down here. I think it, I actually realized that it starts just here. I'm just making a tunnel going through it, just letting it rip more or less, and then just running in the tunnel with a hammer or a prospector's hammer to see if we can't find anything. Good, because we should also be able to find iron and other stuff that way. Also, below here, like in the bottom layer, I think the bottom layer has bigger chunks, uh, or like the ore deposits are usually bigger, since they won't be surface deposits, which are smaller in general. Um, but yeah, so and also, is there anything else I can just. No, nope, I guess that was it. So now we just have to fix this a little bit. And as I said, for wide. Actually, we do want it one wider since we want to have fences. Yes, I still do want to have fences around. But this is actually just going to be a piece of... Or maybe not. No, that should be grass. Let's just mine it up. And... Well, I guess I should do this off camera. So, I will be back... No, wait. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, I will be back when uh, I'm done with cleaning up this bit. And... Yeah. Also, I kind of have to check how much time I've been recording. Should be fine. But I will be back, as I said. And the episode is almost done. Uh, I realized it was more or less perfectly 30 minutes. One more time. Uh, but I do want to finish up putting down the lamps and also putting back the last bit of tracks. Also, uh, fencing. We need to do some fencing. But, uh, question is should we do on the ceiling? Hmm, not the wall too low. Should be on the other side, so we won't have problems over there. But yeah, something like that, and maybe we do not want to use too many lamps. So we could start with the third, maybe. And I I guess this should be one, two. Ah, let's just put it here. And right, and I have switched out all the materials and put in. This is what I would call the ballast. So put that in. One, two, three. I also need to find the torch. One, two, and three. Should probably do like rotate or shift what side I have it on to make it a little bit brighter. It feel, this feels like kind of good. Okay, actually, stinks. But the hunger stinks. And let's see if it is it F9? No? F7? F7. Oh, that means that yeah, F9 is jump loader. This is still too dark. Mm. And it's also too dark. That's a lot of lamps. Um, guess in this part we do kind of need to light it up as much as possible. Would this work? No. That would... Could just optimize it here. Uh, since I, we don't have a mob protection here. So here we actually do need to make sure it's bright enough for mobs not to spawn. And well, putting them up there is like the least effective way of doing that, but yeah. I have to go there. And please. Oh, it does work. No, I don't I'm not a fan of having it. Mm -hmm. Sure it's gotta work. Yeah, that should be good enough, and in the first part it's protected also, so should be no problem. And now it's 
<coughs> sorry. Uh, now it's time to make some fences. And um, I would say this part and well, also the entrance is very important because some base would just knock down the support beams. I got a bit mad on uh, at them when I was just doing my creative world build since I would not be affected by the mobs but the stuff I built would be. Uh, so yeah, that was super duper annoying. This won't be enough by far, or by a long shot. So. But well, it will be something. And yeah, as I said, we need a lot more. Uh, don't we have any? Should maybe have some over here or some logs? No, I think. Uh, yeah, I realized that I really need to go around and check what I have in the long time. These kinds of like mining storages because I realized I was out of the andesite gravel. Then I realized I had an andesite gravel quarry and I went to mine some, but I also did have like, well, two double chests full of gravels at the quarry, so that was good. We didn't have to think about that anymore. Ouch. Um, but yeah, it's uh, like I don't know what I have lying around anymore or less. Uh, and that is mostly like raw materials like this. Let's take a couple of stacks. Also, we well, just gonna put away the gravels now. That I didn't need. So, okay, so let's make a bit more fences. Uh, that's 16, that goes for 8. That's all I need. Now we should have enough fences, I really do hope. Let's just take a couple more stacks if we if it's not enough. Ah, <sighs> yes. Uh, a lot of work for just a short stretch of railway. Uh, if, uh, yeah, I don't know if I will do the next bit on camera. Well, I probably will, or at least a bit of it. So you guys can see what I have been planning and so on and so forth. Oh, that can't stay. Yeah, that's the annoying part of uh, railroad fencing. Hmm. Okay, actually, I need to go one lower just because I don't have any limestone rock on me. Uh, that means same here then. Oh no. Ah, and then a skeleton. Ouch. Come on. There we go. And then just put up the fences. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And complete this little part. Yeah, I think we should have enough fences. Should uh, maybe not. Oh. We will see. I suppose. Oh no, more skeleton shooting at me. Come on. Where is he? Nice. Uh, yeah. 
I'm just going to anyway that one. I need to go a bit further. Now, I kind of didn't have to, but now we do. Huh. This is becoming a bit of a mess. Something like that. Right. This should be good. Um, downhill and corners are always a bit of a problem. Ow! Spider! Come on, hurry up. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna have enough. Ah! Another one! Oh, God! Oh, wow! Ooh, what an amazing video this must be. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sarcastic at all. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm out. Oh, get one more. Okay. Uh, oh, right. I did actually bring more stuff. I'm actually just gonna make a couple more because I do want to make the gates as well. Oh. This is, yeah. Uh, yeah, nice. Now where zombies are locked out, and how is it now again that we do? Right, gates. Uh, ouch, that, you're not supposed to be here, Skellington. Oh, come on, just a little bit more. There we go. Want the gate to be there. That's not matching. Hmm. Guess I will have to adjust that. Yeah, that's it for this episode. Uh, we got the this stretch done at least. It's something. Um, so we don't have to go over the mountain and all the stuff. That's really nice. Let's just run away from those guys. Um, yeah. And it's more or less completely straight, which I, it looks a bit boring, but it is much more efficient. And we actually do need a little bit of efficiency here now, here and again. This is also going to be very, very straight, so it's more adapted for high speed, which this won't be, but it will be higher speed at least. So, yeah, this will be next episode. So, until then. Have a great time, and bye-bye.